It's that day we're finally kicking off award season with the first major precursor, the Golden Globe Awards. I'm joined by two very good friends and movie aficionados, Blake Battersby, who was here for a lot of my award reaction videos last season, and Cameron Spirat, who you were here with me the moment I found out First Man wasn't nominated for Best Original Score. Yeah, that was a while uh, ago. Old, I don't even know if that video is still up, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're here to react to the Golden Globes. Uh, we won't waste your time with too many intros, but as always, we just hope for some surprises. And because the membership is built with like so many new members, there's like probably 70% of the membership makeup is different to what it's been in past years. So we really don't know what to expect here. And uh, I hope to see Barbie and Oppenheimer do well, and I hope Poor Things wins one or two things at least, uh, but we also want some surprises. Is there anything in particular you're rooting for, Cameron? Um... I don't know, I'm just curious to see how it all unfolds. Like, Barbie's obviously gonna sweep, I believe, and Oppenheimer's definitely gonna get in there a fair bit, but I'm curious to see what can kind of to turn the tides against what I, what I think. Yeah, like, the way I think Oppenheimer's gonna sweep the dramatic categories, but then the comedy ones, like, poor things could end up I being hope it does. the big I hope player. It does, I mean, they're, really... my, they're my one and two of the year, poor things and Barbie, so, like, I'm kind of in a win-win situation there, but I hope poor things get something outside of Emma Stone. Uh, Blake, any any uh, musings um, for you? I'm going poor things all the way unless it's yep. against all of us strangers, and I'm going for all of us strangers. That's, I don't think there's nominated for anything besides <laughs> actor here. But, well, um, Andrew Scott, we go. He's not know, directly you... competing against poor things there, so... Um, <laughs> Andrew Scott, that, that's the upset we want. You know, everybody's saying Bradley Cooper this, Killian Murphy that. Andrew Scott comes in and steals the win. Uh, I really hope Killian Murphy wins. I'll just say that. I love Bradley Cooper, but just... He definitely the, deserves this it. This ain't the one. But, Congratulations uh, to Killian Murphy, but Andrew Scott really gave the best performance in 2020. I mean, he's phenomenal as well. Um, I'm actually, yeah, Killian's my favourite lead actor this year. I mean, he just is. Um, also, shout out to Joaquin Phoenix, Bo is Afraid, who is nominated in comedy. Let's get him a win. He got it. Uh, he got uh, it nominally. Let's do this. Goodbye. Yeah, boy. She's my number one as well. She's, um, you'll see. Oh, okay. she's fucking great. This is Dave Eichmann, Randolph's first nomination, her very first win. She went to very good. Expected start, but the, the right thing. These two haven't seen the holdovers yet. They're in for a treat. Like she's yeah. phenomenal. Come on, guys. I'm happy with all of them. Robert. Ah. Damn it. Oh. He's great, but damn it. Uh, I've already lost a prediction. <laughs> I predicted Barbie, but I would this love This has been the best category bit so far. I would love Paul Pink's doing this, though. But I would also love to get Greta going on stage. All right, come on. Come on, Justine Trier. Oh, wow! Wow. Anatomy of a Fall. Holy really? shit. What the fuck? The Globes are cool and foreign now. Holy oh, shit. Like, I, I like Barbie and Cool Things more, but this would be my next it's, favorite. It's, that is a really cool uh, win. Is this R.I.P. Past Lives Foreign Language Film? Yes. I mean, it, it, yeah. Anatomy's winning that. That's so cool, bro. Surely yeah, anatomy. We know what it's going to be. It's anatomy. Unless anatomy. they want scripts. It's Dude's dressed not like insulation. <laughs> Unless they want to share the love and give it the past lives or something. Because anatomy's like 50% normally, normally tend to work in groups. Yeah. 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 Anatomy's like 50% Asian. Although they're sometimes winning the Golden Globe for like Asian movies. Like, yeah. 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 Although they're sometimes weird with the foreign win. Like the movie no one expected won last year. It's either past lives or anatomy. I'm mad if it was anything but that. I was out of interest, I wouldn't have Yeah, but people love past lives. An enemy of the fall. Alright, that is easy. Good boy. He's good. My second favorite category. I love the soundtrack in this movie. Yeah. They should play PIM. Am I dumb for now manifesting what in this and hoping Sandra Hill will win the actress? It's not gonna happen. I think they're giving it away for all the small stuff, and then when it comes to the bigger, yeah. the bigger noms, it's gonna go. No shade on Lily Gladstone, but Sandra Hill. It's just yeah, the pool's way great. too deep. Great win, um, I, and I'm glad I got a fucking prediction right. <laughs> I've got my Studio Ghibli shirt on for when the boy and the heron loses. Boy and the heron though is the second, I think. Yeah, it's the second one. It's both. I mean, Thor and Glory, maybe they do. How much I love Boy and the Heron. But I will have a spot. Team Boy Mirror. Best animated feature, Florence Pugh's hair. Yeah. Here are the nominees. Can we re nominate Puss in Boots, the last question? And the Golden Globe winner. 
golden globe goes to. Um. The boy in the. Yes! <laughs> fuck off! Let's go! What the fuck? I mean, happy for him. But oh, fuck! <laughs> Tonight, we accept this word on their behalf. Miyazaki, fucking asshole. He's like 90 years old, bro. That's what Scott's going to say, is he? Oh, that's, that's the best animated film of the year. The, the Ghibli shirt. shirt. I manifested it with the Ghibli shirt. I mean, I have it. Fuck yes. They do love Scott's say, Loads of weird. Surely it's not. Christopher Nolan. Yeah, there you go. Deserved. Should have been your loss, but you know, we, we can't always get everything. Nolan's an incredible winner in his own right. This is Christopher Nolan's sixth nomination and first win. Finally! Oh. That's his first win. Yeah, he's, he's never won an Oscar either, so this is why this is big. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Give it its. I mean, the people are cheering for it. Come on. That's me with the correct. The Golden Globe goes to. Emma Stone. Yay! Yay! Correct. Good. Best performance by anyone this year. I thought Taylor Swift is at the Orphan's table. Yeah. <laughs> this is Emma Stone's eighth nomination and her second win. This is oh, big. Back back. Back back. Here we go. Killian vs. Bradley. Bradley Cooper. Maestro. Come on, Killian. Please. Leonardo. Come on, Killian. Come on, Killian. Be cool, folks. Be cool. Andrew Scott. Yes. Also yes. All all strangers. And the golden globe goes to Killian Murphy. Yes! 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 I was right! I won back the supporting item prediction I fucked up. This is Killian Murphy's second nomination. First win of Killian Murphy's <laughs> golden cat tonight for his role of J. Robert Oppenheimer. I can close the close rule now. Surely Oppie. It's Oppie. Or this is the best score. And this is, yeah, this should be. Ludwig Gorenson. Here we go. Oh, my mama scores in TikToks, man. It's all over. The boy and the heron. And the Golden Globe goes to... Ghost Rider. Yes! Yeah. 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 Maybe the biggest block of this it is Oscar. Oscar. It's the, the biggest category of the night. Open bar. So cheer. What? Why is it just for the new categories that show it's Yeah, why, why, why are the clips? Where are the acting clips? Why is no one doing fucking acting clips anymore? Golden Globe goes to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ready, guys? Yep, all right. Jeez. I think that solidifies the Oscar race as her versus Emma. And the Golden Globe goes to... Oppenheimer! There you have it. It's going to win, like, I've got it winning, like, seven or eight. If it wins both the Dacton Awards, which is looking like a little now, it'll win best picture as well. Oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah, I mean, Joe Coy sucked as a host. Oh, yeah, terrible. The, the, the article's already coming out about him uh, before the show's even over. Um, yeah, but that, right. that's not what the show's about. Uh, you know, overall, pretty cool winners. I don't know if it's had, like, huge ramifications on the race. I would say maybe Barbie's taken I mean, a bit of a hit. It's definitely shown that Barbie isn't as strong as we thought it was going to be. Yeah, I still think it's, like, a top three or four movie. But before this, I was maybe starting to say, Barbie could win Best Picture. Maybe not. Um, is it going to win anything in the Oscars? Yeah, is that a song? It's going to win like four Oscars. It's going to win costume design, it'll win pro production design. Um, that might be it, actually. Well, in screenplay, I still think it's going to win at the Oscars. Like, Anatomy of a Four is not going to win screenplay at the Oscars. That was just a Globes thing mm. that they did, I think. Well, I think it's in original now. And Barbie is neither. So, I think Past Lives of the Holdovers will probably win at the Oscars, though. Like, no, they're not going to be cool enough to give it to Anatomy of Four. Like, the Globes went for the foreign shit. They went for the boy in the hair, and that's not going to happen. Anymore. Yeah, that I was... They gave that it to was, I didn't see that coming. They hey? gave it to Parasite? Yeah, but that was, like, the biggest movie of the year. Anatomy that's, of the Four was, right. like, a nine or tenth slot Best Picture yeah. contender. Bloody, um... But I'm very happy it won those. Those were two of my favorite things. Boy in the Heron winning animated was probably my favorite thing of the night. Probably not Cameron's favorite thing. Oh, of the I know. Night, I really but, uh, like Boy in the Heron. So I like both movies. I just didn't. I didn't see it. And the Globes always get animated right. Like so many times, they'll give it to like How to Train Your Dragon two when no one else does and stuff like that. I can't I remember if they did, but that's just an example. Sometimes they get weird with it, um, like that. But like I. Think like maybe even Mitchell's vs. the Machines won there. I can't quite remember. It did. It did. Um, but whereas the Oscars will go for the more like populist picks, so I'm very happy about that. Um, ha I mean, I'm happy with Oppenheimer winning. I'm happy with Poor Things winning Best Picture. That's very cool. Um, any other thoughts? Uh, I mean, I I'm really overjoyed with Oppenheimer to be honest, because like yeah. it is like my third favorite of the year. So yeah, I'm happy to see it win. Even though I was rooting for Poor Things, which is more low rated on my favourites of the year, but like... I mean, different categories, you didn't yeah, have to root against like, Yeah, exactly. Favorite, so like, you, you ain't good with that, yeah. um, Poor Things winning the picture awards. As much as I was rooting for Gosling, I'm still very happy that Downey got his uh, globe and his speech, you know, classic He Downey. gave a good really speech. good speech. Good speech. Um, yeah, anyone have favourite speeches? Um, Downey was up there. I loved Emma Stone's speech. Uh, it's that not was a yeah. film-related one, but Ao Beers was really funny. Yes, she was great. I mean, um, TV star Happy the Bear swept. Happy Succession yes. swept. Uh, we're big fans of the Bear. A few shows on I've this seen, couch. Yeah. Yeah, tell this guy to watch it in the comments. I love the Bear. Um, <laughs> um, beef, Beef's a great show. Glad that won a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, Emma Stone's speech was good. Artie J's was good. Um, Christopher Nolan's was good. Yeah, Nolan's was very good. Um, yeah, having a weird British robot man. <laughs> he was very wet at one picture. He was just standing there motionless in the background while his producer spoke. But um, yeah, um, I guess implications for the race. Again, the Globes are so different now. I don't know how much stock to actually put in these, but we know what we already knew that Oppenheimer is the juggernaut number one contender. Poor Things is strong. Lily Gladstone is strong. We're looking at her versus Emma Stone for Best Actress. And... Uh, I'm just glad they did Anatomy of a Fall, and I hope that does make it into Best Picture of the Oscars at the end of the day, because it's fucking great. I think that'll do us. Thank you for joining us. No, no problem. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, check out my podcast, too, The Film Draft. These guys are frequent uh, guests on there. Uh, so, you know, lots of fun, fun times to be had over there, and uh, I'll see you next time.